Hello, my awesome Taurus. I missed you guys. Taurus, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Happy Wednesday to you. It's midweek already. I'm excited. We are that much closer to Friday and weekend. I think I live for weekends. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Taurus. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for taurus in their life and how is taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for taurus in their life and how is taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey let's see taurus what's showing up for you very important wow taurus you are being very strong Ooh, this shows like you're going to be in some kind of a situation where you're going to have to uh, stand up for yourself, prove yourself. Yeah, uh, whether it's at your work or circle of friends where you're going to have to uh, clearly uh, stand up for yourself, uh, for your beliefs. Mm, you are very strong. Yeah, yeah, you see. So, uh, some of your surroundings are showing up here with the snake over here. So, there's somebody in your surroundings, whether it's at your job or business, uh, neighborhood, circle of friends, wherever, where uh, somebody doesn't have your best interest. Um, so, you already know who it is. Yeah, you see the sword you're holding over here? You know who it is. The first person that comes to your mind. And if you can't think of who it is, Next time you talk to them or see them, it will click really quickly and you will know it's them. So somebody is trying to benefit um, at your expense. Mm, I don't think they mean you any harm. No, but um, they're thinking of themselves first. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life. And how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, this is you being patient with the situation. So for some of you, it already occurred. For some of you, it will happen soon. Uh, this is you having patience, uh, guidance, having wisdom. Yeah. The sun, beautiful. You're going to see very clearly how to maneuver through some kind of challenging situation. Apologies are showing up here for some reason. Yeah, this is you quiet, silent, observing. Your soulmate wants to return to you with some kind of amends. They want to make amends with you. You are silent, quiet. You let your soulmate go. Yeah, you said goodbye to them. You cut them out of your life. You were very honest. Uh, you went through heartbreak in that situation. Yeah, this shows clearly that you were heartbroken and you released your soulmate. Um, and you are silent, quiet in that situation. Yeah. Wow. Who is this new soulmate? New soulmate entering your life. Interested in you. Yeah. I love their energy. The sun with Ace of Cups. New love dawning for you. New soulmate appearing in your life. Remember, Taurus, you have free will, just like everybody else does, to determine who you want to be with. Right? You have free will to decide that. We have free will to decide who we want to marry, what we want to do for a living, where we want to live. Right? That's determined through our free will actions. Yeah. Um, the soulmate that wants to return to you with some kind of amends, apologies. It looks like uh, they feel this is unfinished business between you two. Wow. 
uh, they want to take action towards you, but um, this shows different people here. You see this? You, sh you see two kings, and even though they both king of wands, they different people. So the person that you let go of wants to come towards you, break the silence, and the new person, soulmate, showing up here. Very attracted to you. So it looks like you already know this person. You may not be aware of their intentions, feelings, but... It looks like you already know this person and they are very interested in you. Um, let me see what's going on here. And let's please show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing on the summit journey? Yeah, major change is coming to you and you're going to take action. You see, this is you going through major changes. So you're going to let go of some people in your life. Yeah, you're going to see who you need to let go of, uh, who you uh, learned lessons from, who you need to release. Yeah, some people are meant to be in our life for a short while, and some people are meant uh, to be for a lifetime, depending what kind of lessons we learn from each other, right? And how fast we balance karma with each other. Look how strong you are. Strength card, second time from d different tarot deck. Wow. Uh, major changes that might scare you at first, but this shows it's for your highest good. You see this? This is you being brave, courageous, making right decisions for yourself. Yeah, beautiful. Rebirth, regeneration. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours that wants to come back for communication. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus? And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus? And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Wow. They want to communicate with you. They feel deep passion for you, strong attraction. It's like they want to give this one last shot, one last try. Communication showing up here. Ooh, they feel a lot of guilt. They feel a lot of regret, heartbreak. They're not able to move on with their life completely. They feel a lot of regret, uh, sadness, heartbreak. Yeah, they lost you. They feel sad about it. Yeah, this was a serious connection relationship, whether the two of you were planning to be married or were married or engaged or living together. Uh, this was a serious connection between you two. They're in love with you. Yeah, this person's in love with you. Yeah, there you go. Hidden love, unexpressed love, unspoken love. This person loves you deeply. Yeah, wow, you guys have shared many lifetimes together. You see this? Many lifetimes together, which means that you have soul contracts and you're going to see each other in future incarnations, future lifetimes, no matter what transpires in this lifetime? You're going to see each other again. Universe, please show us. Uh, but the more you resolve in this lifetime, the less you are together in distress, uh, the easier your next incarnation together will be. So it's very important that even if it doesn't work out, we live on peaceful terms without holding on to resentment, right? Grudges, anger, right? Very important that we forgive and move on if we can be together. Forgiveness is uh, probably the most lesson for anyone to learn because it can only be learned through heartbreak, right? Something very traumatic emotionally. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus and how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Wow, they want to make things right. This is justice. This is wanting to fix the situation, to correct things. They're looking at everything very objectively. This is them uh, using their wisdom, placing themselves in your shoes, so to speak, to figure out what you're thinking, feeling, uh, how this affected you, you see? They tried letting you go completely and it didn't work. They're not able to release you completely. They tried and it's because they love you. Yeah, they're quiet, silent right now, holding back how they truly feel, trying to uh, analyze everything, process everything, strategize. Yeah, you see, nine of ones twice, uh, wanting to communicate with you, to make amends with you. This means apologies, gifts, face-to-face -face communication. 
the sun, the best card in the whole deck. This person truly sees your worth value now. They do. This is them recognizing how important you've been in their life, you see? This is them missing you. This person recognizes that this connection in the past or recent past was greatly unbalanced. And that's why the two of you are not together right now. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, this is beautiful. This is my second favorite card in the whole deck, the star. My first favorite is the sun. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus. Yeah, you see, again, face-to-face uh, -face communication, gifts, apologies. Look how scared they are. They're very scared. They feel unbalanced. One day they feel brave enough to approach you. Next day they're scared. They're so sad. Oh my goodness. This is uh, showing that this person is heartbroken, devastated over losing you, thinking that you let them go for good, that it's truly over for you. They're concerned. You see, they know. They know they are at a final crossroads and going to have to make a decision. Yeah, you see, this is them fearing scared not, unable to see clearly ha not having answers and this is the sun uh trying to find those answers uh trying to make a wise decision wow this is heavy they view us very attractive very independent person strong-willed person not needing anyone to support you in any way um Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. And we're going to ask about both soulmates since they both showed up. The one that wants to return for communication and the new one that's interested in you entering your life. So first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you. What they have up their sleeve. Whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.